Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. I know it's a Lenovo, but it's Ryzen 7 and Radeon graphics. Idea Pad 3, but it's the 17 inch one. The problem with this one, pressing the power button, and it's doing nothing. Anyway, we have the customer email. So what the customer is saying, uh, I, I, I'm assuming it's a computer business. A customer dropped off their uh, Lenovo IdeaPad 317 for water damage. As the laptop does power on, but nothing on screen. I check it over and notice corrosion around the screen connector and on the back of the screen cable. I clean it up using alcohol. So now the screen it is coming on, but with no backlight. I attach some photos of damage. It looks like to be like three tracks on the right side of the connector are burned and also on the back of the cable too. So actually the customer shared um, a picture with the fault. So um, actually the only problem with the backlight are those tracks from here. You can clearly see the tracks are uh, broken exactly here. I'm not burned, not broken. Probably the other part of the connector, it is burned. Let's check the other picture. Yeah, so that's the other picture, and you can see here, like they are burned, but it's kind of like corrosion. Let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. We made so many videos with that type of dodgy repair, so you can uh, go around that burn connector and burn uh, ribbon cable, screen cable. And yeah, it is uh, kind of like easy to be fixed. Little bit dodgy, little bit dodgy, but yeah. So the laptop it is coming on. It's taking like three amps. Check there. Uh, I can see picture. Yeah, here it's a square. You can see it. Yeah. So we do have picture. Let me unplug the charger. Yeah, the laptop is still on. We have no screws, and the laptop it's open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. We have a seal there. Check. No one actually took the motherboard out. So, let's unplug the battery and let's have a look at the screen connector. This one. Mm, I can't see properly. Let's go under the microscope. Now, check there. Check there. You have one broken, second, third, fourth. So, our four tracks which are broken. Not sure if all are actually the backlight, but we can find out here. So here we have three tracks actually, only three, you can see. We have three for backlight and the fourth one must be the ground, but let's check. Uh, the fourth one is nothing, it's not ground. What is this one? It's not used. Let's switch on a diode mode and let's check. In the diode mode, no, we have no reading, so this pin is not used. Then I'm a little bit confused how that pin got corroded, if it's not used. It means there's no voltage on it. Anyway, the repair is pretty simple, and you know, you know how to do it. You know, I'm pretty sure you know. Yeah, definitely people being on this channel they already know what has to be done here. Nah, don't say it's dodgy, don't say that. Definitely it's not dodgy. And here we have some cables. Huh? I mean, what is this? The U shield cable here? So we have three wires. Clearly, those are for backlight. But I'm not sure I understand because I believe those are shielded. They have a shield and a middle wire. And here, yeah, the same. So, yeah, this pin is not used. You can see it's not solar. Which one? This one. Uh, then we have three pins for the backlight. Then we have ground here. You can see it? Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so how we can do it? Hmm. Here, yeah, here is fine. You know what? Okay, let's do it on a different way. Let's be gentle this time. So I'm gonna clean <laughs> just because the cables are shielded and it's you know kind of messy. We're gonna have ground and 19 volts and yeah. Okay, let's do something else this time. Only this time. So we have here wire and we need a piece of wire, just a small one. Perfect. Very expensive, yeah. <laughs> Wires, fuses, all are very expensive. Yeah, so we clean the wire, let's solder the wire. Now, I'm not sure what is here, but let's try to clean it. Yeah, wires and solder. Good. And I'm gonna solder this wire here. Like that. Let's be sure it's solder. Uh, solder wire. Perfect. Uh, let's clean it. And I think we are ready. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, hot glue. Hot glue. Perfect. What can go wrong? Hot glue and a wire. Now we can put the cable back. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Let's be sure it's not shorted. We didn't clean it. Yeah, done. So checking with the multimeter and my wire is not shorted. No, it's fine. Then we need a little bit of wasin here and solder wire good and now we can solder the wire here perfect check that check that like brand new So the question now is, it is working, because we didn't check if, if we have 19 volts there, no. So I'm not going to plug the battery, I'm going to plug the charger, the, my power supply, because we have a current limit, yeah, if anything happens, we can see that. Plug in the charger and nothing blow up, no, kind of disappointed, but let's press the power button. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Do you think actually there is a short? That's what you think? Zero ohms, I can't believe. Wait, something went wrong, and I don't know what. Why we have zero ohms here? Four ohms. Huh? Yeah, the short is coming from the screen, or actually from here. Yeah, zero ohms. Let's uh, desolder the wire. Maybe we didn't check properly. 
So this solder in the wire, yeah, but we can't because the solder iron itself. Because we are green, we are trying to save energy. So the wire is out. Let's check now. So checking now, we have a short here. You can believe that? If we are plugging the charger, no, it's short and it's not supposed to be short. Okay, let's unplug the connector. I think I know what I did wrong there. So unplugging the connector and without the connector, we have short. Wait, what? You think here we did something wrong? Let's see. Here is no short, maybe here. Yeah, okay. Okay, just a small short, that's fine. Yeah, it's not a big deal. So now we have short. Oh, lol. How can it be short? Because those three pins are together. Wait, what I'm doing wrong here? I mean, here is supposed to be a bridge, you know, bridges are nice. Okay, it's not working, okay. Let's let's take the solder out. So I'm gonna use my coax cable to suck the solder out. Yeah, the weak wire is expensive. But coax cable is perfect. Hmm. So you see we have three pins together there. So how can be sure? That's the question. So if we are checking now, it's not short. What? I mean those, you can see this one with this one are together. Wait a second. This one, oh, this one is ground. Okay, got it. Yeah, I know what I did wrong. Okay. Let's plug back our cable. You see, this is just nice and a pleasant job. Nothing can go wrong here. So, it's not short. You can see, not short. No. Now, let's solder the wire back. Soldering the wire back here. Perfect. Yeah, something like that. But let's check for short. Checking for short, and it's not short, and that's good. And now it's time for testing. If it's working, we can use some hot glue to make everything solid. Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger. And it looks like it's working. And it's coming on. We have 700 milliamps. Let's wait for a picture. We should switch. Yeah, we have picture. Check that. We have backlight, actually. Fantastic. Let's test it with the customer battery because it's charged and uh, we are saving some uh, energy. Fantastic. Pressing the power button. And nothing happened because the battery is dead, right? Yeah, it's taking like 2.2 apps. Check that. Yeah, the battery is discharged. We should uh, make a rule. If you send a laptop for repair, be sure the battery is fully charged. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Everything is fine. Let's use some uh, hot glue here. Of course, I'm just, uh, you know, joking. 
good so we need some hot glue the battery is still charging with 2.3 amps perfect yeah that wire is not going anywhere So it is a good job or not, just say it. We save the connector. Yeah, just not the only connector. You have to replace the connector. Even if you find one, let's say you find another connector, you have to replace it. So uh, basically you have to take the board out. That's mean you will break the seal. That's mean the customer to lose the warranty. <laughs> yeah, you see? Yeah, that's the point I'm trying to make. So now the board has a seal. The board is still under warranty. Yeah. Now, serious speaking, that's the way how you bypass uh, your uh, wallet. <laughs> I mean, if if you don't do, if you don't do this kind of repair, then you have to replace the cable. Then you have to replace the board connector. Then bad things can happen. Yeah. Don't the, the things can go wrong. Depends of you know your soldering skill and yeah. So it's more easy just to solder a wire from there to the cable. You know, just bypass the connector. That's all. So what do you think? Can we call this a repair? Of course. Of course we can. We keep our promises to bring a dodgy repair on every video. So he's taking the laptop. He's taking 2.5 amps, pressing the power button, and the laptop shall come on. Yeah, 17 inch screen. Big one. And we have backlight. Of course, the customer cannot use the backlight. Uh, yeah, not here on Windows. Because you need the ACPI uh, drivers. Yeah. But we fix it. Yeah, now it's taking three amps. You can see if the laptop is on. Perfect. You know, just a nice chill repair. Nothing can go wrong. You are playing with 19 volts. So, yeah. What can go wrong can go wrong what I did. I sure 19 volts to ground. And if you sure 19 volts to ground, it will happen nothing. You've seen that. It's taking no power and that's all. So are no many things can go wrong. Assuming you don't solder 19 to the 3.3. Yeah. Basically, you can do it quite safely. So I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.